everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the walnut stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fun variation of the almond stitch, which can also be found here on my channel. Uh, and it's create this walnut stitch, like the almond, is created by working half double crochets and slip stitches either in the back or the front loops of your stitches. So it gives you a fun texture, it's the same on both sides and solid in nature. Today I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook and a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and direct links to both of these items can be found in the description below. Also, uh, in the description you will find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and uh, let's take a look around. This channel is updated every week on Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial, and you'll also find lots of free crochet patterns here as well. Now our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot, and then by working a foundation chain, and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of 8 plus 5 stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 29. And 29. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. Your chain one does not count as a stitch, and into each of the next three chains. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next four chains. Slip stitch into each of the next four chains. You're now going to repeat all the way across Work one half double crochet in each of the next four chains, followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four chains, all the way across to the end of your foundation chain. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to work in the back loop only of each stitch across. To find your back loop, you're going to look at the top of your stitch and you have two loops. You have one that's closest to you and one that's furthest away. The one that's furthest away is your back loop only. So we're going to work in the back loop only. We're going to start row two by working a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And you're now going to repeat that all the way across one half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, 
working now in the front loop only so that's the loop at the top of your stitch that's closest to you you're going to work a slip stitch one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches now it can be a little bit finicky as you're seeing here uh, just be sure to keep your slip stitches fairly loose you're then going to work in the front loop only continuing and work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches Next, work one slip stitch in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches. And you're now going to repeat that all the way across. Half double crochet in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches, all the way across to the end. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row four, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Working in the back loop only of each stitch. Next, working in the back loop only, you're going to work a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. Half double crochet, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And we're going to repeat that all the way across slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches followed by a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches all the way across to the end of row four at the end of row four you're going to chain one and turn your work for row five we're going to repeat our row four we're going to half double crochet into each of the first four stitches. In the back loop only. Followed by again working in the back loop only. You're going to slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. Repeat that working in the back loop only half double crochet in each of the next four stitches and working in the back loop only slip stitch in each of the next four stitches repeat that all the way across at the end of row five we're going to chain one and turn our work for row six, we're going to work in the front loop only of each stitch all the way across. You're going to start by working a half double crochet in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches. Next, you're going to work a slip stitch working in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches followed by a half double crochet in the front loop only of each of the next four stitches you're going to repeat that all the way across half double uh, slip stitch in each of the next four stitches working in the front loop only followed by a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches repeat that all the way across
at the end of row six, chain one and turn your work. For row seven, we're going to begin by working in the back loop only of st each stitch across. You're going to slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. Followed by a half double crochet worked in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Working in the back loop only, slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, all the way across to the end of row seven. At the end of row seven, chain one and turn your work. That brings you to the end of the repeats for these rows. So for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two, three, four, five, six, and seven for as long as you would like, and then fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's it for the walnut stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.